everybody. I am heading down to a house here in Porter's Neck. It's an area north of Wilmington, North Carolina. I have a unit that I've worked on before. I repaired a condenser leak on it. I also changed out a fan motor on it. But the homeowner said it was icing up and I think we meant the outdoor coil even though today it's a warmer day. So we'll have to look at the defrost board if we can even put in the defrost. If it's a charge issue, shouldn't be the fan motor because obviously it's been changed. I want to check it out and see what's going on. Guys, we got everything hooked up to the old Goodman out here. I connect out. I got my probe in for the return air. Probe around the corner and the door for the supply air. I'm going to hook up the Zebra Stat and start things up in cooling to check the charge. I have the Zebra Stat hooked up. We're going to be setting it on activate. Uh, the only difference between normal and or how I did it last time and this time is my alligator clip for the orange wire is busted so I'm at to wire in a new one I guess. I have the wire going to the fan G terminal on the terminal strip here. Our Y1, our 24 volts red common and I'm using the purple wire for the reversing valve. I'm just taking it off of the defrost board so I can run it in cooling. We'll have our reading from the probes here and it will be fed back to my phone and I'm going to check it out. We're going to go ahead and run the machine and I'll show you what happens. Guys, as you saw from the I-manifold, it looks like there is an excess of airflow almost. Uh, Superheat is above the target, about, about 6 degrees, which is actually pretty close. And our suction pressure is a little bit above the target. So, But whenever I repaired this unit before, I weighed in the factory charge. So it's, it's hard to believe with this and the old duct system, it's excess airflow, but you never know. I'm going to put it into heat, which I already did. We're going to take a look at the pressures there after it runs for about 10 minutes, and then maybe try to get it to go into defrost. I have our fan leak pulled off in heating mode. As you can see, our coil is gathering ice quickly. So we'll let her get a little frostier, and then we'll put her into defrost and see how she does. As you guys could see, the uh, defrost cycle went as planned, fan shut down, switched into cooling, melted off the ice very quickly, and then came back into heating mode. I'm going to run it in heat for a little while, make sure everything is squared away, and if it is, I will consider it just a fluke, or maybe she came out here whenever it was just about the defrost, which is very likely. As you see, the whole coil ices up very quickly. You might think there's a problem when there, in fact, is not. Maybe I'll change the defrost cycle, make it a little bit less... Uh, of a time interval in between cycles. That way she won't have to worry about seeing it like that, thinking there's a problem. I thought I was done, guys, but I found a little problem. I had my Zebra Stat hooked up to the G terminal on the terminal strip inside of here. And what we had was whenever I was hitting the G, and I didn't notice it at first because I was turning everything on at one time, that the compressor was coming on. So I said, like, well, that's funny. And I looked in here and see if there was any shorts inside the cabinet between the two wires. And the G wire only runs from the terminal strip over to the infamous Goodman blower relay, which is right here. 
I didn't see anything there. I just tugged the wire and moved it around a little bit just to see if anything was rubbing together, and it still happened the next try. So what I did was I took it off the terminal strip, hooked it up to the G, and voila, we have fan only. So now I have it hooked up to the G wire going to the thermostat, and I'm going to power it up to see if the compressor comes on, which will mean there's a short layer. Yep. So there's a, compre there's a short from the Y1, or yellow wire, to the green wire and the thermostat wire, or the thermostat. And I can't get to the thermostat right now. We'll have to advise them. We'll have to either run a new wire, or perhaps there's an issue at the thermostat itself that could be rubbing together. On the sub base, I think it's an old mercury stat, so it could be that there's enough bare wire where they're rubbing together. But I'll have to check and see. It's not really end of the world because it will bring on the fan. And if you're in heat mode, I mean, and your fan only runs, you don't keep your fan in the on position, it's not going to be the end of the world. Uh, but definitely better to take care of it and have it straightened out so there's no mix-ups. So that's what I'm going to propose, and I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you.